Good day, ko edukados. Good day, everyone. I'm Riva Maika Melendres, and for today's video, I will going to teach you on how to make pixel art using MS Excel. So without further ado, let's start our session. Okay, so let us go to our MS Excel. As what we can, as what we have seen on the screen, so there are a variety of templates here, but all we need is this, uh blank workbook here so let us click this one so this is our pixel so in making our pixel art um, we will just first use um, these two columns here okay we will going to use column a and column b for our answer for our questions and for our answers so column a will serve as uh, will serve as the column for our question questions and column B will serve as the column for our answers after this um, let us start now our uh, pixel art uh, but before that we will going to put first um, the questions so we need 10 questions here so let us first put our questions so for question number one let us go to insert um click equation a square we have here square root of 100 and we need to place it here question number two we have five plus five then we need to go to insert then click symbol then add the symbol insert three. so we are done uh, putting our questions so let us proceed to the next column which is the column for our answers so for square root of 100 we have uh, 10 for 5 plus 5 times 3 we have 20 okay let us uh, put first a b answers ok 
okay we are uh, we are finished uh, putting our questions and answers so for the uh, for our for the pixel art figure okay um, as you can see here we will going to highlight a 10 by 10 columns for the image of our pixel art so let us start here then so let us have your 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and another count of 10 going down so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 after this we will going to adjust the column width and to 2 so let us go to format select column width and let us change it into 2 um, to make our uh, columns into a square size so we have here where uh, we can place our pixel art figure but because we don't know how to draw we will going to use a pixel art image downloaded from the internet as our guide so let us go to insert click pictures uh, go to downloads and select the um, pixel art image that we are going to use okay we have here our um, sample image okay so let us now um, let us start um, drawing our pixel art so in making our pixel art just follow the color of each shaded boxes from the sample image to make it easy uh, let us just fill the black parts first so the process would be going like this so the black parts okay let us fill it black here then leave the uh, leave these four boxes here because we will going to use um another color for this part so let us proceed to the next box for the black parts okay uh, just continue the process until we filled in all the black parts Um, filling in all the black parts so let us proceed to the next color which is the brown so um, let us do the same process as what we did earlier so let us uh, fill in all the brown parts Then, if 
Okay, let us continue uh, filling in all the brown parts. proceed to a light violet color so we'll go to more colors okay click okay then let us proceed to the orange one <coughs> click orange <coughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, just continue the process until we filled in all the um, orange part of the figure. Let's proceed to color uh, light red. Let's choose this color na lang. Okay. And last but not the least the color white so all white colors we need to we need also to fill it with white color okay okay we're done making um, our pixel art figure so let us just um, plot this image first before proceeding to the next step okay so for the next step okay. so for the next step we will going to highlight some parts of our drawing so it would be going like this so after highlighting go to the conditional formatting and select highlight cells rules then go to more rules and let us click this one use a formula to determine which cells to format okay then click this uh, box here and click the answer that we are going to use this then put uh, less than and greater than sign then uh, put the value of the answer then after go to the format um, select fill then click no color click ok then ok so, if we want some cells to be dependent in one question, we just need to highlight the cells and go to the conditional formatting just what we did a little while ago. So, you can also select different portions of your pixel art. Just, um, just highlight the wanted part and then click control. So let us first erase this um, answer here. Okay. So. Okay. Let us highlight um, 
some portions so the process would going like this okay that portion this portion here also and this portion here also then go to the conditional formatting select highlight cells rules go to more rules and click this one use a formula to determine which cells to format Okay, then click this box here then select the answer then put the value of our answer then go to format click no color select ok click ok 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 so just continue the process until we remove all the um, figure.
So, we are almost done here. Okay. Let's proceed to the next and the last question. Okay. Go to conditional formatting. Rules. So, no more any hints left of what our figure is. So, to make sure that we're doing the process right, um, let us try it. So, by answering the given questions, each answer will going to reveal our pixel art image. And the process would be going like this. So, for question number 1, which is square root of 100, let us put the answer 10 then enter as you can see it reveals some parts of our pixel art image and if we go and if we will going to remove it we will going to remove our answer the revealed part of our pixel art of our pixel art will also going to be removed and this is and this is how our pixel art work in excel Thank you for your time and God bless.